At the church I went to when I was little, my family sat next to my grandparents in the same pew every week. My grandparents always got there before us, and it was so neat to always see them there and sit by them. Our church pews had big fluffy cushions, and my grandfather was always there early and began a tradition of hiding a $1 bill at the very edge of the pew in between the cushion and the pew. When we arrived, I would run up and sit next to them, and I would always find the $1 bill my grandfather had left there for me. The best part of receiving the $1 bill was that when the offering plate was passed, I could put that $1 bill in. One Sunday, a new family with a kid about my age came in and sat next to my grandparents before we got to church. My grandparents were gracious and welcoming to the new family, and as they sat down, the boy with the new family found my $1 bill at the end of the pew in the cushion. When my family and I came in, I was upset because the new family was sitting where my family normally sits. And then I really freaked out when there was no $1 bill at the end of the pew. I whispered to my grandpa, Hey, that kid has my $1 bill. You left that there for me, and that kid took it. When the offering plate came around, the new kid put the $1 bill in the offering plate and I had to watch it all happen right in front of me. It was my $1 bill. I whispered to my grandpa that the kid put my $1 bill in the offering plate. Then I started to pitch a fit, and I was complaining to my grandpa that it was my dollar bill, and that kid took it. My grandpa was not amused at my behavior. My grandpa finally had enough, and he took me outside and proceeded down the path of a teaching moment. He said, I provide the dollar bill to you, and you in turn choose to give it to the church. I'm proud of you for making that decision, but let's look at this differently. There will be times in your life when you see others receive blessings that you may think are undeserved, or you might ask, Why not me? In your mind, that just happened. Your perspective is that kid hijacked the blessing I provided for you. He found your $1 bill. Now comes the hard part. Find a way to be happy for that kid. Be happy that he received a blessing. Think about how happy he was when he found the money. Who knows? Maybe just that morning his parents had been teaching him about giving, about stewardship, about sharing his talents. And then that boy finds the $1 bill and puts it in the offering plate. That boy finding the $1 bill may have just created a lifetime giver that will always serve the church financially and through his time and talents. The bottom line is that we don't understand how or why God works sometimes. But you have an opportunity to find joy in the blessings that others receive. There are still times when I see someone receive a blessing that sets off the why not me alarm. Why not me? I immediately remember this story and I take joy in the fact that I may actually be witnessing God working in someone else's life right at that moment. And grandson, it's all joy. Point at the signs, make signs, there you go. Ready? Keep doing it. I'm gonna count to three again and then you're gonna jump and throw your signs up. Ready? One, two, three. Hey, stay there, stay there. All right, that's good.